Howdy y'all, I really don't know how to start this video. I don't know how to make a beginning to this, so I'm just gonna kinda go off. I realize I haven't made any kind of personal post on YouTube or much of anywhere for the past few weeks. I do the best I can to try to document my travels and everything, but obviously being a homeless gentleman, it gets difficult. I gotta find Wi-Fi, I gotta find a place to charge my phone, I gotta find a place where I'm not getting kicked out every 15 seconds. I gotta film the content. I usually kind of script these videos out, so this might seem a little off-hinge. And I know what you might be thinking. Man's just said he's homeless. How's he got this, and this, and that specifically? Well, I have friends. Not all homeless people are cavemen. And some of those friends have very nice things, and appreciate what I do, and let me use those very nice things. I really enjoy and feel some kind of an obligation slash responsibility of bringing my journey and my struggles and all that to YouTube and various other platforms, but I can't talk about it on YouTube. Supposed to be. Anyway, but it's difficult. And I'm tired. I'm 28 years old. I know I look like I'm a fabulous 50, but I'm 28 years old. Road's been hard. Anyways, long story short, I'm settling down, or at least trying to plant the seeds to. I'm currently in Topeka, Kansas, and I've kind of just been floating around Topeka, Lawrence, and Winfield to see Abby. My girlfriend Madeline went on a little freight train trip to Chicago and back to receive her dog. Now I'm with her and her dog. Briefly, I want to touch on what I think might be a big disconnect to what people that have had a house, I don't want to say sheltered in the sense of like you haven't went through anything, but sheltered as in you've literally had sheltered life. What people don't understand, this phrase, survival mindset, is very overused, but that's what develops after years and years of being homeless, especially traveling. When I am dead broke, which happens a lot, I panic. The only thing I can really think of is how to get the next 10 or 20 bucks. But that panic and that lack of money is different than the average person that is housed not having any money. Being poor sucks all around, whether you have a house or you don't. It's just not something I'd recommend. There's a substantial difference between being flat broke by having your bills paid, all your Wi-Fi, your power, your water, having the groceries you need, and knowing you're gonna get paid in the next few days. That's very different than being flat broke and having nothing. Out on the road, there are no safety nets. The best I get is that I'm in a town with some friends that will make sure I don't starve to death. And at the risk of overstating it, I don't mean to diminish anybody else's plight with poverty or not having money or not having access to resources that they need but it's substantially different. The main difference is the actual survival mindset that goes into it. The problem that I usually have when I try to attempt settling down like I am now is I cannot get out of that survival mindset. As an example, scavenging or foraging and gardening. Gardening, you get to plant a whole bunch of stuff and then eventually you get more stuff. Yeah, that's a great example. That's, yeah, plant stuff, get stuff. But with traveling, you don't have time to plant things. You have to take what's there. You have to take opportunities that other people wouldn't take in, because that's the only opportunities you really have. You're not there for long. You have to take what's there and leave. And if you don't, bad things happen. And bad things have happened to me because I didn't. Very bad, awkward, and dangerous things have happened to me because I trusted the system or, you know, trusted the process, you know. Another tangent I could get off on, it, mm, easy. Another tangent I could go off on is the survival mindset and the likeness to being an alpha male. Now quickly, without virtue signaling too much, alpha male is a really stupid concept that doesn't make any actual sense when you think about it for more than four seconds. I don't think women are property or anything like that that's weird and stinky and smelly. What I'm trying to say is I've been accused of being both and I think none of it is right. I'm, I'm not an alpha or a beta. I'm uh, kind of just myself, I guess. If you hear 
survivalist mindset or survival mindset and you think it's a part of some sigma grind set, it is not. It is akin to a mental disorder or at least a disorganized way of thinking that is not very beneficial. Except for when you're forced to just survive. Essentially all I'm really trying to do is make it to where I can do what I want for a living. For a living. I don't want much. I don't need to be the next Coulter Wall or Tyler Childers or anything like that. If that happens, that's really cool and I will probably allocate funds to different things before I get to where I live in a mansion, but that would be really cool. But what I really just kind of at the end of the day want is the ability to tour and play shows and sell merch um, for a living and also have my YouTube channel where I tell my stories and everything and YouTube's like, good job boy, here's a few bucks a month. It'll help me pay for a tiny home or something. Like, I, I, I really, I'm not trying to be much. Um, I'm just trying to live. With all that being said, I'm trying to shift my focus and responsibilities from survival mode into the long haul where me getting shows and networking with these people in Kansas actually means something. I can put a potato in the ground and have it spurred up a whole bunch of other potatoes. Is that how potatoes work? I don't know, but I'm doing the long haul work. I'm, I'm in it for the long run now. I'm trying to be in the process of reworking my head to get there. While I'm doing this work, I'm still going to try to upload stuff. Um, mostly a lot of music, some stories. Uh, I've got a big one coming up that I hope I can film fairly soon. But I'm not saying I'm taking a break from anything. I'm saying hopefully I've got a lot more coming and a lot more quality stuff coming. But I have managed to actually get shows for once. If you know me personally or have followed my story at all, that is ridiculous. I don't play shows. I'm a, a, I'm, I'm a street performer. I'm a homeless vagabond nobody that does a silly little thing and makes noises and people feel bad for me and throw money in my thing. I, I don't get shows very often and I'm finally getting shows and that feels great and I'm so nervous about them. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I have plenty of songs to play for them and hopefully I just do not mess them up and I sound okay. That's kind of the attitude I'm taking with it. I want to play bad shows, good shows and everything. I just want the experience down so I don't sound like I'm using the bathroom on myself every time I get up there and introduce myself. So I'm going to be doing that while also trying to get you content. Eventually it will level out is what I'm hoping and I can consistently make videos and do this stuff and maybe have a bite to eat every once in a while. Not that it doesn't appear that I have a bite to eat every once in a while. But until then, I really appreciate you watching this. I'm not sure if you actually stuck around to the end of this video through all the lunacy, but I really appreciate it. If you want to support me in what I'm doing, reach out to my Patreon. I know I haven't posted on there much, but I haven't posted on much of anything. But you do get my poetry book for free, PDF. Um, uh, also my album is on, uh, Patreon for free, and if you don't want to do the Patreon thing, I do have albums for sale on Bandcamp. I have four albums on there, maybe five. Some of them are old, some of them are rough cuts, but, uh, hopefully you will go check that out and download it. If you want to go to Bandcamp and Patreon, both, you can do that too. I don't, I won't be offended. I promise. But yeah, also check me out on here. Like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff. You could rate my deformed lobes from 1 to 10, how much you hate them, how much you like them. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this form of content, I'll consider doing more of it and get better at it. Not, 
Not sure if I'll always have a very nice Audio-Technica mic and a interface to do this with, but I will try my best to have it. All right, thank y'all, love y'all. Fucking turn off. Turn off. Thank you.